Welcome to uh, this short video when we're going to speak about how you can configure interVDOM links on FortiGate. We have prepared a quick a small diagram uh, showing that uh, a test PC connected on FortiGate which belongs to test VDOM and internet connected to another device or the ISP connected to root VDOM. Between them there is a uh, interVDOM link. Let's uh, log into the FortiGate. Uh, we'll need access for that, so let's grant the access on the unit. Uh, I'm using a different interface to avoid this, uh, to avoid getting lo lo losing access on the unit. So this is very important to make sure that you, during those changes, will never have to make uh, any, um, so basically lose the connection to the unit. In order for this to work, you need to enable VDOM. Uh, note that if you have multiple VDOMs by the FortiGate, by default, you, you need to have a license for more than 10 VDOMs. And if you commit the changes, the unit will require a restart, just like you've seen on my test. Uh, so basically, you need to run this during a maintenance window. Let's log in back to the unit and we can start creating the VDOM. Uh, test VDOM will be our one of those. Okay, then on test VDOM, we need to create, uh, to map a LAN interface, which basically is a FortiGate, and by default, they go to root VDOM. I need to map it to the test VDOM, and then uh, create the inter VDOM links, just like I did. Uh, I'm using a subnet here. Normally, I don't have any configuration, but you have to make sure that the subnet used must not be used or overlap with any other networks, just uh, to avoid any confusion. FortiGate will not allow you to do that, but just uh, so that you will not have any, have any uh, devices uh, on the same subnet. Uh, let's put a name. The name could be random and define each on those on each VDOM. I have enabled ping for both interfaces. Uh, let me enable here. Okay. Then uh, here, this just the IP addresses. So uh, let's do a quick test from the FortiGate. If we are able to ping the interfaces, normally FortiGate will should allow this type of traffic without any further changes. Okay. Let's uh, ping the interface itself. Okay, so now we have access. Okay, let's go to the other VDOM. Okay, it should be root VDOM. Okay, and test VDOM indeed. So here is a uh, second. Okay, let's create the policies now. So the policy should be on the perspective of the traffic. So apparently traffic will be sent from a test machine, which is physically located on under LAN. LAN uh, um, Interface is expected to come from LAN interface. Uh, so from this FortiGate perspective, this traffic will be uh, originated from LAN and then sent to the root VDOM, which is uh, the new interface that we have created. I'm not specifying here any destinations, all, all and any service. Let's confirm the policy and shall do this the same on the other VDOM. Uh, we'll create here uh, a policy. But in this uh, case, we expect the traffic to be uh, retrieved from the intervidom link and um, from there to be sent to the to the next hop, which would be the one interface. OK, also here, I'm not specifying any sources and destination. Normally, on uh, it is recommended on your environment to have explicit as explicit as possible policies to avoid any particular traffic. Let's do a quick test on this test machine that I'm using. So I'll be able to ping. Um, here is the gateway. You see, this is the interface LAN on the FortiGate, which is designed to LAN to the test VDOM. So let me just perform a ping. You should see that I have reachability from this unit to the interface itself. Now we need to test if we have access to the internet, which we don't. We reason is because we are missing something, and indeed we are missing the routes. So VDOM uh, that VDOM test doesn't have a route. So let's create a default route, and we shall send this to the next hope, which is the IP address of the inter VDOM link on the other device. 
So let's choose here and define the correct IP address. Okay. Let's confirm everything. Okay, now we are routing the traffic to the root VDOM. On the root VDOM, we need to have a default route unless you already have it. Uh, I need to determine the gateway that I have just to verify what we have. Apparently, it's not showing. Okay. Let's try to. Maybe it's this one IP address. Uh, FortiGit will query automatically and see. Yeah, this is not doesn't seem to be the correct uh, route uh, gateway. Just uh, let's verify the from the actual device. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's correct it. This is the actual interface when I'm uh, getting the internet. Yours might be different, of course, depends on the environment. So now, apparently, everything, every old part of the setup is completed. You should be able to get, yeah, indeed, you see that connectivity establishes. So let's take a look into a test machine. We are going to ping now and see if we have connectivity. And yes, we do have connectivity. Let's take a look at the policies. So you see we have traffic, which means the traffic heat is matching this particular policy. And also, I also like to enable hin hits on this policy. It is very useful to see packets in terms of how many hits we have. Okay, let's go back to the interfaces. Here is where the interfaces get listed. And we'll do a test by disabling one of them and try to see if we'll be able to lose connection. So we disabled one interface and you see connection got lost. So let's enable it again and connection will be restored. This reveals that uh, traffic heat is showing through its a quick test to understand traffic heat is flowing. So the configuration is complete. Thank you for your time and thank you for uh, watching this video and enjoy your 40 day.